It's your boy Wu Chapel, Wu Chapel the Don. Y'all now tuned in to Nolazine TV. I. Oh, we see a nigga with me, gon' ride for the kid, then we get jumped up, he gon' lie to the pigs. Bad fat, we don't say a lie to the pigs. The people know where I'm at, they say I'm hot in this shit. We on a strap, I ain't just rhyming this shit. No chance to blow back, we gon' lie to my quick. Mind over matter, grind over a bitch. I don't wanna him, I just know he gon' snitch. Ayy, I don't wanna trust they Uno. This shit I put for got me on Pluto. Came with the blow by one meal, Tudo. Wait, with the stars out the universe. I got 30 shots, don't get murdered. Somebody hit the odds, not it hurt. Tell everybody where you from. Uh, downtown New Orleans. Lafitte Projects, Born and Raised, Tremay area, you know. Yeah. Real side, wild side, whatever. <laughs> oh, so when did you start making music? Uh, I would rap when I was like five. My teacher used to write little raps for me. But I ain't really start doing it until uh, my brother passed. I was like 13, so he used to rap, so he used to tell me about, you know. Dang, man, you don't see how them dudes be hopping all the jets and all the money they making, man, just the rap and all that. So, he was talented too, so he, he really influenced me to do that. He passed, and I took a series of it since then. What were you doing before music? Uh, shit. I was always like a little so I was probably in school, uh, I was in probably like, I don't know, seventh grade around the time, probably seventh grade. I was in a band, so I used to play music, still around music, you know, before I really started making it. Growing up, who influenced you um, to start making music? Uh, I can I see my auntie, uh, Lanisha, she, she really, you know, I guess that was my first starter, you, you know, introduction to music, really, her writing for me and stuff. I was five, so that really, you know, that started me, I can see. So describe your music in one word. Legendary. Everything I do legendary. Everything. Better than me. If it's the old tape, the next tape gonna be better than that one, but it's still legendary, but it's just it's just better and better every time. That's how I come. Tell your fans something about you um that you don't show on social media. You have any projects coming up? Uh, yeah, uh, January, we're going for January 17th, uh, 2019, uh, King Flo album, uh, personal for my brother, I did it when I was like, uh, when I first started rapping, I was younger, but like, it could be like a reloaded, but it's just like, to me, it's gonna be like, you know, like, that's like my debut album, everything I did, you know, and everything I've been through, it's gonna be put into this album, so, it's gonna be personal and big. Do you have any features on it? Yeah, um, I'm gonna have Drew Pop on that, uh, Ruth Diablo, Willie B, Cool Keys, uh, and I think that's it. That's all I have to think about, now. I think that's it. When it comes to local DJs and radio, do you feel like they could do a better job in um, breaking artist music? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like they got a lot of people now who really talented, like, like myself, I feel like I'm gonna speak for everybody. Like, I don't think they should always just look at it based on who got the most clout in the city or who popular. Like, you know, cause they ain't the ones who really, you know, they making it doing the thing, but they got people who really making real music down here. Like, you know, and I feel like they should be, they should be the one playing and putting people on. We should be putting ourselves on. Like, everybody always talk about that line and stuff, but it takes for people like them to really, you know, take that chance with us to really do that. So what separates you from other artists? Uh, I think I don't really, I don't look at getting into the game or chasing this rap gene for, for the money, uh, for the, the streams, the, the, you know, all the numbers and all. I ain't doing it for that. I got a, I got a bigger mission for it. Like, you know, like, it's like, I want to be woke to this world and I want people to be woke too. So, you know, through my music, I want to be spitting my real life and the real life of the world, you know, bringing that real, bringing that real rap back where people give you a message, you know, and they ain't just telling you, oh, to go do this or do this or pop this or do this, you know, it's gonna be a message. Every time you hear my music, you know, you're gonna be able to learn something from it. Or you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take you through my story or something. To a potential fan, why should they listen to your music? 
to a potential fan. Cause to me in my eyes, I'm the next I'm the next one out of my city, the next one that had a face of the city to, to put New Orleans back on the map since hot boys and stuff. I got I got so much craft in me like I don't I don't know like I look at myself like a real young goat that just ain't been noticed yet. And this noticing interview gonna be a, a step to it. You gonna be a step to you know people noticing me more in the city and stuff. But they gonna see some. So if you weren't doing music, tell your fans, I mean what would you be doing? On the Lord do I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh I don't know what I'll be doing with all this music. I've been doing this for a minute. This is like a job. Probably be, I don't know. I really don't know. Cause music, my music, I be, I be incorporating my music in my life a lot. You know, some stuff I go through, you know what I'm saying? It's always just something going in the music. It's, it's, it's just something about music and, and, you know what I'm saying? And the mix of everything. So I really don't know why I be without music right now. So when it comes to Baton Rouge and New Orleans artists, why do you feel like Baton Rouge artists right now is gaining more spotlight than New Orleans artists? Uh, I just feel like it's just their time right now. Like they all, they got the Bad Rouge song. Like they ain't sound like nobody else. They all sound like they from Bad Rouge. They just, they, they just got heat coming right now. Then all the attention on them, cause you know the rap beef that's going on in this, and like through the rap industry, they sitting all that. Like you know, they just got the, they just got the scene right now. Eventually, I feel like we'll have our scene just take for the right person to really put the city on. When it comes to rap beef and trolling, how do you feel about it? Mm, I feel like if it's most of the stuff, it be some people are doing for entertainment to uh, get the cloud up and all that, you know, for the followers and stuff. But if it's real, you know, it's not gonna be no internet stuff because you basically telling on yourself when you put it on the internet. The whole world know your beef. But if somebody doing this on them, I ain't into it, I ain't trying to do it. I'm just, you know, focus on a bigger mission. And that's what they on, that's what they on. For the new generation, mm -hmm. how do you feel about people calling rappers on um, like mumble rappers? Uh I mean, I guess that's for I don't really, I don't really be agreeing with the uh with the new wave too much. Of how I like the raps, how the rap stuff be here. I'm more, I like, I like the real hip hop, you know, locks, Jeezy, you know, real rap, like you know, so what they call the quote unquote mumble rap. I don't even really listen to it. I don't, I don't really get down to it too much. I don't really listen to it. Please tell everybody where to find you and also where to find your music. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. At W U dot C H A P O Wu Chapel on Twitter, Wu Chapel the same way with no dot. Uh, my SoundCloud is Wu Chapel. My uh, you can search Wu Chapel on YouTube to find me. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Y'all gonna be everywhere soon. Next year, 2019, my year, we gonna be everywhere. It's real.